Hey guys, this is the Rad Man. <laughs> I'm in Farming Sim and I can't move. I can't move! Help me. So, yeah, this is, um. This. Don't worry, I didn't accidentally delete our Let's Play World or anything if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually, uh. Kind of been testing out some mods recently and I thought I'd show you guys them. Uh, the reason I've been testing them out is my uh, my two main test worlds I have two of them one of them is on the America map that one got corrupted and it basically forgot that I bought any machinery except I'll just show you oh I can't because the <laughs> oh silly me the shop is in game doy uh, basically all it left me with was a few bale conveyors my straw power plants, which are really nice, by the way, I'll I'll show you guys them uh, in a different world because they're uh, really nice, but I don't have enough money for one. And um, yeah, it kind of really annoyed me because I had about three hundred thousand dollars, and there was no way I could rebuild my fleet at that point because I would be I just didn't have the money. <laughs> So I deleted the world and started this world, and uh, while I was doing starting this world, I figured out that it is really hard to bail when you're when you're this small. So I started looking into mods for small farmers, and uh, that's where this John Deere comes from. It's currently my favorite bailer in the game, besides uh, one that I have called the Simpa. I believe this one is less expensive than the Simpa though, so if you're going for cost, this is this is the one. The only advantage over the Simpa is this is a more realistic mod. I don't I haven't been able to find the actual like regular download link. I've only been able to find the more realistic version. Uh, and yes, I do have the more realistic mod installed obviously because I'm using a more realistic baler. And real, the only real big change with this baler, by the way, guys, is it puts out weighted bales. But be cautious, there are some things that I don't like about more realistic that it adds by default. And I don't think you can reverse them unless you just uninstall it. But anyway, back to the mod review. What are we reviewing today? So we're going to be reviewing, I think it's called the more realistic small farm mod. Or f small farm pack. And that is actually where this tipper, that John Deere, and I have a cedar somewhere around here. It's sitting over there, and I'll show you it after I stop this combine. And if you're wondering why I don't just tab over to the combine, it's because it's a real pain to, to uh, get this trailer running again. Because one of the things that the more realistic mod adds in is weight so if you don't have a powerful enough tractor to pull what you're trying to pull it won't pull unlike farming sim so this is actually a nice little uh, guy okay since I have the combine stopped I can actually show you it now so if we go into my mods it doesn't as far as I know add in any tractors I didn't really check for sure all it says, the only way you can tell usually is it'll say MR instead of, it'll say MR in front of the name like this, MR, whatever that is, small front bail fork. And that's just for the John Deere bales. It didn't add any harvesters. Uh, beet harvesting, no. Okay, what it did add is this MR, which is more realistic. Where'd this come from? I didn't... Huh. I don't know where that came from. Oh, this was a mod that I got a while ago. I didn't realize it was more realistic. So now it's probably going to work since I have the more realistic engine. No wonder it didn't work. Anyway, so this is a uh, 6,519 liters um, uh, wagon, gravity wagon. It is actually bigger than the default uh, wagon that it gives you in the America map, and it's only 1,560, so it is a must-have, in my opinion. Now, the plows and stuff, they aren't really that useful because they're actually smaller, I believe, than the one that they give you. This uh, more realistic Minneapolis Moline grain drill, though, is nice. 
Now, um, <laughs> this one's kind of actually debatable. It's only $850, but I will show you why. It also adds in these two fertilizer spreaders. Um, if I remember, I will link this in the description. I'm sorry, guys, if you really wish you had the links to these things. I just am terribly forgetful when it comes because sometimes this I could have recorded this up to a week before I post it at best. So yeah, because I'm I'm kind of behind on videos, but I'm I'm catching up, so it's all good. So this is the Simpa, one of my favorite bailers in the game. This is the more realistic John Deere 24T. I like I like the look of it better than the Simpa. I will tell you that for sure. Plus, it's uh, more automatic than the Simpa. The Simpa, you have to, like, you have to slide over the hitch yourself. You have to lower the bail flap. You have to attach this yourself. But what I like about the Simpa is it will run out of twine, so you have to buy twine for it occasionally. And I just think that's pretty cool because I I work on a farm and we have to buy twine. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, there it is. Yeah, the more realistic baler. Pretty nice. Uh, this is the bail trailer, but I didn't want to use it because it does have a locking script, though, which is nice. Um, so, I got this guy. This is the Ag Aguas Tenius Platform 3 Axis. I don't know what that means. So, it can auto load up to 378 small bales, which is what I'm using. Normal bales are in game bales. Large bales are like, um, I think, what is that mod called? I have a, one of the balers. It's the Extreme Bailing Pack. That's what it is. Extreme Bailing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use this afterwards, though, because I have this guy, and this is more dependable. It can load 36 normal, so only 4 more than this one, but I have a 48 bale auto stacker for regular bales, so it's better than both of these. <laughs> and uh, if I do round bales, I will be using probably this one. The only problem with it is it glitches out when you unload, so I just thought I'd tell you guys that because I've experimented with it. So yeah, I believe that's all that this mod adds in. I think, oh yeah. There's this uh, more realistic fertilizer trailer. That basically just means that you can buy fertilizer, haul it out to a field, and load up your fertilizer sprayer yourself over there. So yeah, um, I'll give you an idea of how the John Deere works. I really like the John Deere, guys, because look at that. It doesn't just continually teleport in. <clears throat> now, I will admit, it doesn't have the best, like, tying animation but really there's no good tying animation in this game <laughs> uh yeah i don't like that it's all one solid long bail strip before it comes out and then right as it falls out it gets cut but uh, that, that that's a small thing cuz look at this baler i also like that it will work folded over because most small balers, when they're not folded over, can be kind of iffy when you're driving down wind rows like this. And I am using the auto combine mod, which is... I was hoping using the auto combine mod, mod would make this smooth, but unfortunately, uh, I guess when you, tell, when, when you go in the game, um, just by default the field isn't evenly planted or something. I don't know, maybe they're suggesting that the previous owner was a bad planter and left you one field that wasn't very evenly planted or something, I don't know. But yeah, uh, there's the trailer in-game, I do own it already. Now, I will tell you something strange. Don't offload with that trailer until you know you can use the bales, because I had like 40 bales on it. And I lost about 20 of them to the sky. <laughs> yeah, they teleported into the sky when they offloaded because it glitched out. But I'm hoping that'll be fixed in future versions because uh, I think that's actually a continuation of that uh, other trailer I have. So I'm hoping they'll fix that in the in the future. But there is literally no other trailer that I've found that will haul these small bales. 
and getting bales off your first field is essential because even though you may not think it is this is actually quite a bit of money just sitting on the ground and if you have small co the small combine you get like a lot of windrows of straw to to bale so it's a lot of money down the drain over time if you don't bale the straw now when you have a really big farm it really doesn't matter but right now you need all the money you can get and I did have to take out a little bit of a loan but normally you won't the only reason I had to is because I was testing out the Simpa and the John Deere and the John Deere won out by a little bit so yeah that's just to keep in mind if you if you want to test it yourself you will have to go into a little bit of debt I just delete the world and start over though because testing it takes five minutes <laughs> okay yep so yeah, this has been a little mod review. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to show off everything in the mod pack. Uh, just because um, there's quite a bit of stuff. And if, you, if you'll notice, like, one thing I really like is whenever that plunger moves back and that, like, knife thing, I, I can't remember what it's called exactly, whenever that knife moves back and forth, as you can see, whatever it collected actually is shown after the knife pushes which is a little uh, just a little nice animation just a little touch up because that is the way it works in real balers it doesn't it's not smooth and continuous it's kind of choppy and trust me it is on big balers cuz i've i've ri i've rode on a big baler before like uh the the size of um of the in game one so yeah, that's that's just been a mini mod review, mainly of the baler. Oh yeah, th there's one thing about this tipper I don't like. You have to unhook and rehook if you're going forward to get it moving because the more realistic. Okay, it's never done that before. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with it now. Whoa, that's kind of freaky. Anyway, yeah, one thing that the more realistic engine does add in is it gives cars like weight so you have to actually have a tractor with enough horsepower to get them moving which isn't necessarily a bad thing but yeah if I had my choice if you guys could find this mod um, that doesn't have more realistic it'd probably be nicer just because I don't think you'd have the issue where uh, you have to like unhook and rehook and I don't know what is going on oh let me show the fun thing guys so if you unhook from these trailers they have actual momentum which I think is just a nice little touch <clears throat> but anyway I'm gonna uh, keep harvesting this field and I'll see you guys in our single player world next time on farming simulator and uh, if I guess if you guys aren't satisfied and you want what is wrong with that trailer? It's never done that before. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want a uh, another uh, mod review where I go more in-depth on a specific part of this mod, I will. Um, the only re And if you're wondering why I'm not showing off the bell trailer, it's because all my tractors drive at about 3 miles per hour, so it would overly extend this mod review, and I'm trying to keep it relatively short. Mainly because I just recorded a Minecraft video and I have to go do what I told it, what I said I would do. And I, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys have really made this mod review. I will try and remember to put, since this is actually a mod review, I think I will remember to put in the links. I think the only reason, why is it lag? I think it's lag is what's causing that. Yeah, I'll try and remember to put the links in the description. I think I will, though, because since this is an actual mod review, um, I will probably remember. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Rad Man. Uh, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. Share it. Anyway, goodbye. I'll see you next time. And next time we will actually be doing uh, our farming simulator to let's play if farming sim doesn't. Hello. Uh, just as a little last minute addition to this mod review, I'd like to say that fertilizer sprayer, or the fertilizer thing, 
this screen thing is actually really good, but I gotta go because it's my computer's editing a video and it's not gonna like me for recording very much. So I'll see you guys next time on Farming Simulator. Oop, wrong one. I'm also thinking that in the future we may just start up a little mini series on how to get rich quick in farming sim but I haven't decided that yet so I'll see you guys later goodbye hey guys I just wanted to show you something cool <laughs> actually it's a really really bad glitch with this uh, bail trailer um, it is that <laughs> the script for unloading trailers like I think this trailer uses a locking script to keep the bales in place till you unload them and whenever I unload them they explode so I pulled the trailer up by here to see if as many of the bales as possible would be by this thing because these two will automatically pick it up and it'll be fed into my little straw power plant here but the funny thing is <laughs> it's unloading them I forgot that uh, that's one problem with these with both versions of this mod is that'll happen and I think you can fix it by resetting the vehicle. I'll add in a little thing on the end saying whether you can or not. I'm going to wait for this to finish unloading though because I just finished my second harvest and got about 200 bales minus 11 or 12 that I lost while testing the trailer when it spazzed out. So yeah. See, I'll uh, tell you guys what ends up happening in just a minute. So I conducted an experiment. Um, uh, this is uh, behind where I was when you guys last saw that other clip of video. Apparently, if you empty the entire trailer and you try and reset it, it crashes the world. So what I'm going to do is redo that. Actually, there might not even be any bales. Ooh, I didn't think of that. There might not be any bales left. Well, I'm going to go see. I, I sold some stuff to buy that straw power plant. And I do want one. And I think what I'm going to try and do is if I can help it. Uh, make it so that, um... Oh, yeah, I think all the bells are gone. Oh, I might have the money for them, but I don't know. They're nowhere. They're absolutely nowhere. Unless... I wonder if this says it has 300 bales on it. Anyway, yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't try resetting the game after you've emptied the bale trailer. It doesn't work, and that's... I'm editing a video, so I probably should wait till this is done, but I just thought I'd tell you guys, uh, again, I'll put in another clip of video when I tell you guys what actually will work with that thing, because I'm trying to find a way where it won't just explode all the bales. I've 